The stegosaurus gets ready to protect herself against a neighboring predator attack. Here's your look at the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Mega Dual Attack Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus has a super head strike and a super tail strike, which can both be activated by pressing the platelets located on the top of its back. Before we get this review underway, we're going to first measure off Probably shouldn't have tipped it on such an angle as I did, but we're going to measure off how long the stegosaurus is. So from the front snout to the very back spikes on its tail, the dinosaur is about 14. In fact, I think if I even had straightened the dinosaur forward, probably would have been even closer to 14, uh, 14 inches long. We're going to go ahead and reset that. Reset that. And uh, we're going to switch that back to inches. There we go. And we're going to measure right to the very top of its highest platelet, these little defensive spikes on its back. And to the very top of the highest one, the dinosaur stands at 7.3 inches in height, which works out to be, centimeter-wise, 18.5 centimeters tall. And because we just finished having a review of this one, we're going to bring this one in just as a comparison. Here is Gallimimus. Still a tricky dinosaur to unfortunately stand upright. So I put the two dinosaurs side by side. I love the fact that Mattel continues to churn out new dinosaur releases. Uh, they're about almost the same length. About. The snouts and the tails almost line up to one another. The dinosaurs are almost exactly the same length to one another. Check this out, friends of the interweb. The dinosaur also comes included with a Dino Rivals trading card. On the other side is the very cool looking Stegosaurus digging the new color scheme that they've put Stego in. Surprisingly enough, very strong as well. If you look at it, it's almost topping almost 10 on strength. It's actually 9. Uh, speed, it's at a very slow 4. Intelligence, even smaller than that. You're looking at only 2. And ferocity, I guess because of the way that spikes are and the platelets on it, the dinosaur is about 4. Well, it is 4 on ferocity. You know, just as a little side note, you know, maybe on the one side, obviously, they want to keep it all the same. Dino Rivals and Jurassic World down below. Kind of wish at some point, not that there's a lot of space, but maybe just even a little read-up. Am I asking a lot? Maybe I'm asking a lot. A little read-up, I think, would have gone a long way as well. I know there's always the interweb. Everybody can easily just go look up something on Google and instantly know something about it and then claim to know a whole lot about it. But I still think a little bit of wording probably could have gone a long way. Just a little fun, did you know? Maybe like even a did you know down below. Probably something a little bit more like, did you know the Stegosaurus has four legs? I did actually know that. Thank you, useless card. Yeah, so as I said, I really do like the color scheme that they've introduced to not only even just the Stegosaurus, but a lot of the new Dino Rivals seem to have these new pops of color that really wasn't present before. I don't know if Mattel has just decided, you know what, we're, we've been keeping to what we believe are realistic colors for the dinosaurs. For all we know, these dinosaurs really, really could have been like neon pink. We don't even know. Um, we're only now starting to see kind of what a T-Rex may have actually looked like, including a whole bunch of feathers that weren't there before. So again, I don't know, you don't know, next door neighbor Rick doesn't know, although he claims he knows, but we don't really know what these dinosaurs would look like color-wise. But I'm liking the fact that Mattel, again, has decided just to abandon, not fully, but abandon the idea of like, we don't have to always stick to greens, we don't always have to stick to very plant colors Instead, like here, even though it's sort of still rooted in kind of dirt colors and terrain colors, I do like that there's a little bit more pop of color happening here. I think most of it, what I'm really digging is this forest green that they've added to the tail portion. Uh, the spikes, as well as really like dippings of this forest green, have all been added to these platelets located on the top of Stegosaurus's back. Now, I don't know if these colors would make any sense that the stegosaurus would actually have colors like this um, nor i don't know why they would have made this section i mean you would almost think that the platelets would be one color uh, then this color should have been something different but they just decided to keep the cream color going why not it's working so well we'll keep the cream color going around this section right here but i think this color should have probably been closer to the gray color 
The head sculpt is good. I mean, I don't think I had the other Stegosaurus. I don't think this one is all that much different other than the fact that it now incorporates not only a front in the striking head category, but also the tail strike on the back there as well. Now, this dinosaur does benefit where the Gallimimus did not in the fact that it does have four legs. Thank you very much, resourceful card. The four legs also allows the dinosaur to stand much easier, almost to the point where if you do want to get a little bit more creative with having it move, like if you want to have it walking, for example, you could almost even crudely, yes, but you could even simulate that with, uh, you know, better posability in the legs. The legs, like I said, do move forward and back. Uh, these ones also hinge outward. never really understood why they have to hinge outward. I guess it's just to give a little bit more of a footprint for the dinosaur when it's standing on the ground. Uh, it's got a good size to it. I've always been a big fan of Stegosaurus. My all-time favorite dinosaur, you guys probably already know. Anybody? 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 Triceratops yells somebody in the back of the audience. Yes, Triceratops was always one of my favorite dinosaurs. You now recently, I, I think I'm liking more the uh, T-Rex, probably with a lot of influence coming from the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies. So as spending some time on still one of my all all-time favorite dinosaurs, not my favorite dinosaur, but uh, the Stegosaurus almost kind of has a look like a vulture. I always, I always thought like the head sculpt looks something very much like birds, which again, we know that birds would later on be really what dinosaurs would evolve to for those that actually believe in evolution. This guy right here. Uh, the eyes are painted in quite nicely there in yellow. Very almost subtle. You almost miss them completely, but they're there. The end beak of its snout is done in a color actually that doesn't seem to make any other appearances anywhere else. The underbelly is more of a lighter version of almost the coloring in its beak. And then even still, the cream color doesn't match to that. I kind of would have liked that they would have made use of this color a little bit more, this brownish gray color. Again, the hide looks fantastic. Something similar to a living creature now, like a rhinoceros or an elephant. These large kind of uh, speckled uh, opening areas of wrinkling there. That's probably the most in-depth explanation possible for basically just saying textured skin. Kind of also looks a little bit like a tortoise as well. Very, very small feet. There's the Jurassic logo on the one side. There's the Jurassic World fax app right there. We're going to scan that off. Don't worry. I'm not going to forget about that. But all around, a nice looking dinosaur. It's meaty. Not in the way that I would actually grab and nibble into it, but it's a good meaty sized bit of plastic. You get your values worth, I think, when you pick up a dinosaur like this. Which, by the way, also, speaking of picking up, I want a big shout out mid review to viewer Bill who took the time and sent this my way. So, like, like I said, we've already looked at the posability being the hind legs and the front legs. They do kind of move basically the exact same way, even though these back legs do also hinge outward as well. Now, really where the gimmick comes to play is these platelets right here. This one and this one here. Slightly offset from one another. One will work the tail, the other one will work the head, and I guess if you push both of them down, you'll be able to somewhat successfully be able to activate both of them. So if we want to activate one of them, we're just going to press this this plate, and you're, you're actually not really pressing it down. You're actually pushing it more on an angle. See, if you push it straight down, it actually wants you to push it on an angle. So we're going to go ahead and follow the instructions that the platelet has told us. And as you can see, the tail swings back and forth. Sort of a happy dinosaur swings back and forth. There's a lever here, a little hinge here, and there's a secondary hinge right here. You can even feel it when you are flipping it back and forth that there's a little bit of almost a spring resistance to it that it springs itself back. And all of that, again, comes handy when you are pressing the little button on the top there. Now, the other button, if we flip it around, is located right here. This button, if you push it down again on an angle, the head will move up and down. The head doesn't have an opening mouth. Nothing opens to the mouth, unlike the Gallimimus that we had a look at, but instead the head just kind of bobbles up and down. Now, if you can successfully call yourself a Jurassic World toy collector, of, you may be able to accomplish having both pressed down. Okay, yeah, I admit there's not much involved to that. I very subtly take my card back. But yeah, if you press down both of them, it does successfully swing both the tail and also bob the head up and down. You could do this until the cows come home. Is that is that the phrase, cows come home? 
not really a phrase that makes much sense to me, certainly as somebody that doesn't live with cows, but you could do this all night if you wanted to, at the very least until you're called down for dinner. You could also bring this downstairs and just have this sitting by the dining room table while you're eating your noodles or whatever else mom and dad have prepared for you. Eventually they may just say, stop it Billy, just finish your food. And then you can resume that after you've finished your meal. But a neat looking dinosaur. Like I said, it's the coloring that I think really makes this guy stand out or <clears throat> this girl stand out. I do like the colors here. This is probably one of my favorite colors that I've seen for these dinosaurs. Kind of this dark brownish gray. The cream is slightly a little offsetting. I mean, it's not something that you'd normally expect on a, a stegosaurus or really for that matter, any of the dinosaurs that we've looked at so far from the Jurassic World line. And maybe actually that's a good thing just before we wrap up things, because I know you guys have places you need to go, people you need to see, and you gotta finish your noodles, mister. We're gonna go ahead and go into our app. This is the Jurassic World Facts app, and we're gonna go ahead and select the scan button down below. I'm gonna flip the dinosaur over, so sorry for that. And we're just gonna line up till we get a good shoe impression. Make sure we have the volume up as well. There we go. And here is the new Stegosaurus, which also carries over the same color scheme as what we had with the dinosaur right here. Somehow the colors will actually work a little bit better even on the app than it does on the physical dinosaur, even though, again, I'm digging the color scheme here. Can you do anything with this? Absolutely not. You basically just look at it from a distance. You look at it and interact with it in the same way that you would look and interact with this if this was actually a living zoo. Probably not a good idea because we know how well that works out, but... Uh, you can't really do anything with it, but you can learn stuff. Education is fun. And learning stuff, we learn that the Stegosaurus says her back plates are probably used for body temperature control. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Learning is fun. We're going to go ahead and press the next button. She has a brain approximately the size of a walnut. If you've recently just had a walnut, Billy just now holds up his walnut. Hey, I have a walnut. It's that size, approximately give or take. And last, certainly not least, she can swing her spikes with enough speed to pierce through muscle. Now that's probably talking dinosaur muscle. You can imagine even the strongest bodybuilders would probably fare not that well against the spike force of the mighty stegosaurus here. This guy loves himself some dinosaurs. Also loves for the fact that Jurassic World continues to churn out, Mattel that is, turns out more Jurassic World toy lines now with the new dino rivals. Sort of a fresh coat of paint on maybe some existing characters, existing dinosaurs that we may have already picked up from the Jurassic World lineup. But again, just a new splash of paint. I'm digging this line, I have to admit. Also, big thank you once again to viewer Bill, who took the time, somehow found these. I don't know whereabouts he found these, but was able to find a whole bunch of Dino Rival stuff and sent it my way. To which I say once again, thank you, sir, and a promise and guarantee that I'm going to at least do my best. That almost doesn't sound like a promise, but I'm going to do my best to get through every single thing that you guys have sent and uh, have a look at them on this channel. Like, I really need an, a reasoning to look at more dinosaur stuff. Again, I like Stegosaurus. Not one of my all-time favorite dinosaurs, but it's right up on the list. I would say top five favorite dinosaurs of all time. That, of course, changes as you become an adult. Responsibilities kick in, and maybe your priorities for dinosaurs change. Maybe realizing that the, the hard-working dinosaurs, you know, the ones that have to work hard and get their food, like the T-Rex and stuff like that. Maybe I appreciate the T-Rex a little bit more than I did as a kid. Back in the day, I just liked things with spikes. Go, go figure. In the meantime, though, if you guys are interested in picking up Stegosaurus here, Gallimimus, or any one of the other Dino Rivals new lineup from the folks over at Mattel, you should be able to find these should should in quotations i'm using the air quotes in fact should be able to find these at your local comic look lo local retail stores comic book stores probably don't have this and local toy stores if you have a toy store in your area another harsh reminder that toys r us isn't available now in the u.s but i think they are working to rebuild rebrand and reopen their stores so when they eventually do you never know you may be able to go in there and still find dino rival stuff in the meantime i would just probably suggest checking out other places you don't want to wait that long uh, like I said, today we were having a look. Thanks to viewer Bill, we were looking at the new Jurassic World Dino Rivals. This was Mega Dual Attack. That's a whole mouthful. And it was the Stegosaurus. Even longer to have to write in a YouTube video title. Which, by the way, you don't have a whole lot of space to work with. 
Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below. My friends, my colleagues of the interweb, of course, we're going to have a look at some more Dino Rivals stuff and other stuff on this channel. I like stuff, says Stephen. Well, more stuff is coming your way, Stephen. More on this channel. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, my friends, and it will happen. Lickety, lickety split. There you go. Uh, in the meantime, guys, as always, thanks for watching. As you always do, leave your comments down below what you guys think of Stegosaurus here. And I'll see you guys next time.